Welcome to St. Louis Presents. This is April Trupiano, your host, and I'm here with my guest host, Vern Fuller. Hi, April. Hi, Vern. We got an exciting star-studded show for you today. We do, a star-studded show. I like that. I like that. See, I like my guest host here. <laughs> so we do, actually. We have St. Louis's own Grammy Award-winning music producer, JR, yes, who's going to be here with us. And we also have Rakita Henderson, who's kind of um, carrying out the, the wedding theme this, this week. And she's going to talk to us. She's a photographer from Pink Sit Photography. So she's got some great stuff to tell us, stuff I didn't think about. So it's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. And who else do we have? We have Tawana Green. Yes, we The rising did. star of makeup artist. Oh, yes. And she's going to do a makeover with her lovely model, Yuri. Yes. So we're very excited. We have a great show. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Welcome back to this Emmy Award winning segment of St. Louis Presents. What a star studded show we have today, April. We do. One, I'm here with you. You <laughs> star studded co host, you. Oh, you're so <laughs> funny. So, so we have a new star in Rome Pope. The Pope. The Pope. Il Papa. The Pope. Yes. And Pope, who is from Argentina, yes. is the first non European mm -hmm. Pope ever? Yeah, the Vatican's getting a little radical, a little diversity in there. How about that? <laughs> How do you feel about that? You were raised Catholic, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's an event. I mean, I, I view it as, um, you know, it's history. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a historic moment. It's a lot of pomp and circumstance. Um, but I think when you get down to it, it's just, it, you know, the, the Vatican and the, you know, Catholic religion coming out of Rome always serves as, um, a, a, you know, it's a big voice in the world. So, however, whether you're Catholic or not, they have a huge influence on how things go. So, you know, I, I think it's really, it's important. Um, I think that I'm actually rather excited about it. I mean, the, f the face of the world is changing. We've yeah. got a Pope from Argentina. We've got uh, the first black president yeah. of the United States. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the world is changing. It, it really is. It absolutely is, yeah. Pretty soon we're going to have a woman in the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and he's actually St. Francis, you know, who, by the way, is known for working with the underserved and the poor and, you know, just really being compassionate and being of service. So. You know, let's see what he does. I've never really understood why they don't keep their own names. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's what's the? Do you know the history you behind know, that? I all I know is that they always take a saint's name. You know, so okay. it, you got to be burned at the stake or somehow somehow uh, sanctified in order to get that privilege of uh, you know being named. But I do think I, I think that what it really it's symbolic. You know, so right. it serves to give you sort of a, a role model, you know, so that's basically his mission. That's what he's serving into. Okay, let's yeah. hear about your recent uh, trip to San Diego. Ooh, yes, you know I love traveling. Y'all, uh, our viewers know I love to, be, uh, love to be around. You know, here's a picture of me. This was right outside my hotel room. How gorgeous in a Laguna. Okay. You know, I was there for a training for work, but I gotta tell you, working in San Diego, and being in the sunshine, it just doesn't suck, I'll tell you. So these are some of my colleagues. Um, you know, I love what I do, and what I really love about what I do is I get to work with really powerful women. Hey, maybe one of them is gonna be the next president, I'll tell you, they are on the go. <laughs> you know, just again, some of my colleagues, we were there uh, really learning about the business of coaching businesses, and so it was really interesting. I Food was that. great. I love that. There's me on the big screen. How about that? Look at you. Yeah, there's April on the big screen. Oh, no. I can't believe she threw that in there. Is that April doing the Dougie? Oh, we were <laughs> dancing. I don't know. We were hitting it. We always have some. We like to have some fun. 
So okay. yeah, I was up on stage dancing. Very cool. I got a little wild. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. I think the human body was actually designed for the weather in San Diego. I really do. I really do. <laughs> well, you know what? Back here at home, we have a superstar. Welcome to JR. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. My JR, pleasure. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. So, so I got to ask you, you know, we were talking about this in the green room, and um, I think Vern asked you a really relevant question. How does someone attain what you've attained, you know, and accomplish what you've accomplished yes. living in the Midwest? Um, I think it's a combination of things. Um, one, hard work um, and good art, uh, you know. So in the industry I'm in, uh, when you do well, when you produce well or write well, uh, word travels fast. And so um, just producing good art, having integrity about the relationships you build, and being intentional about going um, where the music is, going where the artist is. So if they're not coming to St. Louis, um, then I go to where they're at. So I've been to all types of studios in different countries, in, uh, different states. Um, and so I build relationships with these artists, with the labels. And thankfully, I was able to um, keep making music with an artist named Lecrae, who actually won the Grammy. And so as a producer of that record, um, I um, accepted one as well, so. Jerry, you're not just making music, you're making hip hop, and you've got a positive spin to it, which yes. is rather, I gotta be honest, that's yeah. very refreshing. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you've, as I understand, you've broken into a Christian hip hop, yes. which is a breakthrough in the hip hop industry itself. Absolutely. Tell us some yeah. of, something about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, it's definitely, speaking about the Catholics, it's based um, on Christian values. Um, but it's hip hop, you know, going back to the roots of what music is supposed to be. Um, something that motivates, something that empowers, something that's positive. Mm -hmm. um, and so for the album Gravity, which won the, um, the Grammy, uh, it was the first, um, he, Lecrae was the first hip hop artist to ever win a Grammy in the gospel category. Um, so for us, that means uh, the world, man, because not only are people from religious backgrounds recognizing <laughs> the music, but um, you had um, stars, hip hop stars like Big Crit on the record, um, who is a, um, you know, a big, humongous hip hop star in, in, in underground and in mainstream, so he was on the record as well. Um, but it just says that uh, positive music can sell, positive music um, can make an impact. And um, you know, I come from the hip hop community, I grew up in the hood, so I'm very familiar with that lifestyle. Um, but I know most of it is not the truth. And you know, so when you're talking about drugs and alcohol and, and the girls and the club, money, death, shooting at people, our kids don't need to hear that. And so we just want to give them a little alternative to say, hey, here's the truth, you know, and we may, some of you guys may be there, but you don't have to stay there. You know? And so. that is so well said. And we were discussing this in the green room also. A lot of the guys you see on the hip hop videos who've got the cars, the money, the mansion. Yeah. It's not real. Yeah, yeah, most of it is um, is um, leased or is, you know, <laughs> it's rented for 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so I was speaking at Hodgins Elementary the other day and I was letting them know the five, uh, fifth graders and sixth graders that um, those images are given to us so that we can continue to buy into that lifestyle because we too want to be famous one day we too want to have some money and you know you see girls and girls want to be pretty and have you know men drooling over them and so they continue to um, paint this image and so particularly young blacks that don't have anything you know that's they're growing up in, in those neighborhoods they're more subjective to see that and be like, yo, I want to be like that when I grow up. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so it's fabricated. You know, these guys, when they leave off the video set, they go back to a rented home, they return that, that, that Maserati back to the dealership, and they go back to a hotel or to stay at a manager's house uh, to get ready for the next gig. And so uh, if hip hop can just go back to the, you know, the early 2000s, mid 90s, I think we'd be good. I think yeah. we'd be good. You know, I love all types. I love all types of artists, <laughs> and I work with, with all types of artists. But uh, some of it's bad, some of it's good, you know. I, I gotta tell you that I get the chills when you talk about it. When you talked about this, I, I'm very familiar with one of your artists, um, yeah. Jay, that yes. you produced. Yeah. And I've listened to her music, and it's yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Right, we, you, you know, we all love the beat. We yes. all love to dance. We all love the music. Yes. The message is where I think it gets off track. And so yeah. what you're doing is just fabulous. And I love that you're going out and telling these kids that. Yes, they know. gotta know the truth, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's great absolutely. to aspire to something. And it's wonderful to express yourself as an artist. Yes. 
However, there's, there's also the side of character. Mm -hmm. And so what I hear is that that really is where your heart is. So kudos yeah. to you. Oh, thank you. You know, um, talking to the kids, I, uh, I let them know that it wasn't, uh, I don't do this for accolades, so I don't do it to win Grammys. Never thought I would win a Grammy. And it's always in the back of your mind that you would, would be rewarded for your work. But um, I do it because I love it. And so we all start off with a passion, whether it be uh, uh, makeup, whether it be mm -hmm. photography, whether it be I'm um, an artist or you know, med school, whatever it is, it starts with a passion. Stay faithful to that passion, do it well, and people will recognize it. You know? Your passion, Jarrah, certainly is revealed in your music. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to kind of revisit, you did it all from St. Louis. Yes. Really, you did. Yes. What, there's so many guys and, and women in St. Louis who want to make it in the music industry. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them if they want to follow your path? Um, I would say first, is, you know, it goes back to hard work, integrity, discipline. Um, you can't make it anywhere. Uh, I don't care. You can be in the thick of what's going on, and if you don't have those characteristics, you won't last long. You got to keep your word and work and build relationships. Um, but for me, you know, um, I, I, my aim was to to first provide to my community first. So I worked with a lot of uh, late uh, native St. Louis artists, uh, but then I just built relationships. So if you guys are uh, working hard out there producing and um, writing songs, making music, make sure you start with the people around you first, but take advantage of opportunities outside of St. Louis. Absolutely. Yeah. Jared, we wish you all the best. Thank where, you. Thank I want to ask, so where can people yeah. find you? Because yes. where, where are you going next? Where can they yeah. see you? Um, let's see. Well, uh, go to SoHotMusic.com. Uh, you can also go to Twitter, at uh, JR and Stereo, um, and also Instagram, at JR and Stereo. So you can keep up with all the to-dos and where I'm going to be at on those uh, social media sites. Yay. So we yeah. invite you guys to give a shout out to JR. We will be right back with Rakita Henderson of Pink Set Photography. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Nice. Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Works every time. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Welcome back to St. Louis Presents. We are here with Rakita Henderson of Pink Sit Photography, who's making me giggle already. <laughs> I giggle. You giggle. I love that about you. I'm sure that puts your, your photography subjects at ease. I hope so. That's yes. kind of the goal. We want you to feel comfortable all the time. You know, so again, we're, we've been talking about wedding season in the last mm. show, this show. Tell us what's going on, because you actually do some things that I had never heard of before. It is um, wedding proposal season. We shoot a lot of wedding proposals. Um, guys are, it's the only time that they really get to be involved in the wedding process for most guys. So we go out and photograph them surprising their soon to be fiancés with the proposal, which is always a lot of fun to see well, what yeah, the guys I mean, come up with. Do you like jump out of the bushes or something? How do you do no, that? Um, normally what I do is I, um, fake a photo shoot so I'm in the area, <laughs> or I have hidden in bushes before. Um, I have been, you know, at a dining, like in a restaurant at a table with my camera covered by a newspaper, whatever you got to do to get the shot for the guy so that um, the girl isn't kind of keyed off that we're there. Yeah. Um, the last one we did, we did at City Garden and the girl was like, um, 
I think this girl's taking our picture. And we were like, she walked around the corner and we, we were there with other people. And she was like, oh no, no she's not. Have and you I really ever was. had one where she said no? No, not yet, thank you. <laughs> we give the guys this sheet that, you know, one of the first things that we tell them is, if you think she might not say yes, don't do it. Right, <laughs> if, right. If you're not sure, this right. might not be the right time to, you know, sure. set that up. Because, you know, the guys who hire us for those are normally doing something a little more ornate. It's going to take a little more effort. They're trying to, you know, they're doing scavenger hunts and treasure chests and, you know, wow. families involved and parents coming in and wow. things like that. Nikita, I've been to your website. I love your work. Thank you. The backgrounds in your photos, where do you get your inspiration? Um, I get a lot of my inspiration from music videos and film. Um, as an artist, I try to reach across art boards. Um, I try not to look so much at other wedding photographers, but at commercial work, at, um, at just as many different things as I can. Uh, We're showing some of your uh, sample shots uh, right now for viewers to see. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Thank I you. And I, I love the positioning. I love the the way you frame things. Thank you. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. So you do get a lot of the ambiance as well. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Images are, are about the entire picture, not just the subjects. The subjects are super important. We want the, the girls to be very happy, but you spend all this time and energy choosing all these locations. We want to showcase that as well. I, when I see that you don't just, you're not just taking pictures, you're actually capturing a moment. Yeah. That is the goal. Um, weddings for me are not really just about um, the surface stuff, the cake, and it's all about the change in relationships that happens um, when people get married. Um, as much as I love weddings, the marriage is the most important part of the process for me. Sure. So when we talk to people, we're talking about the family who's coming in from out of town and the things that are important and what's important to you about your relationship and how you show that to the other person so that we can incorporate those things in the images throughout the whole process. Um, I'm very nosy when it comes to my <laughs> clients. I ask a lot of questions because I really want to know. Um, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I really want to know what's important to you about this person that you're committing your life to um, and how we can show that in the images. That is so different, I think. That's probably one of the things that you should absolutely look for in a wedding photographer or an engagement photographer is someone who has the process of asking you about your background so that they understand you and it's not just a snap snap, because anybody can snap snap. Not well, but they could, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody is nowadays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but in order to capture the essence, you, yeah. really, you really want that. And you, you do. Um, if, if photography is important to you, and it's the only thing that you have left at the end of the day, um, cakes are eaten, dresses are put away. Um, I still sit and look at my grandma and my mom's, my mom has a one Polaroid from her wedding. Um, and I look at that, I still have that one Polaroid. And you know, when we get to my grandma's house, we pull open the chest and we pull out these pictures. That's the only thing that I think is missing from today's digital age. People rely so heavily on digital files that they forget that when it's all over, you wanna be able to walk past something and be able to touch it and say, these are my memories and this is my, my story. I think it's also important to bring out, you, you do something a little different. You have someone, you have like a, a team, yourself yes. and someone else, mm -hmm. who was assigned to capture the, the, the photojournalism of the groom. Mm -hmm. Tell Absolutely. us about that. Um, I'm, we're very groom friendly at our studio. Um, we want the groom side to be told. We want him to have a positive experience with the whole wedding planning thing. So our, so our, my co-shooter is very centered on taking care of the groom, being with him all day, being there for his getting ready and his hanging out with his guys and documenting that time for them so that um, when it comes time for the wedding album, there are pictures of him hanging out with his guys. And you know, our last wedding, they played hockey in a loft. Who knew? And we took pictures of them hanging out and doing their thing. And the guys were really excited when they saw those. I love that. So guys, are you listening? When you work with Rikita, you actually get to play a part in the whole process. You don't Absolutely. get left aside. Absolutely. Where can people find you? Um, we are on the internet um, at uh, pinksitphoto.com. Um, P-I-N-X-I-T. It's Latin for she created it. Oh. Um, we have a studio in South City at 4067 Shenandoah Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110 in the beautiful Shaw neighborhood. Um, we're very proud of our neighborhood. Um, you can reach me by phone at 825-7469.
Excellent. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of St. Louis Presents. Watch STL TV. Experience the loop all day. Have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes and stay informed during severe weather any way you can. You must be your fairy godmother. It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. <laughs> Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Welcome back to St. Louis Presents, and we are here to see the masterpiece hey. of makeup artist Tawana Green. Huh? I've been watching you out of the corner of my eye yes. over here, and I have to tell you, I'm really intrigued by this, um, this spray paint makeup. What is that? The what, airbrush. Yes, the airbrush. Well, I'm finding that brides love the airbrush. Um, it goes on flawless. I mean, it gives complete coverage and it dries completely. So there's no touching up all day, you know, running around, really? trying to mat and touch up. It just, it doesn't move. You spray it on and the bride is good. So does that mean it also doesn't get on your dress? It, it does, we let it dry first. Right. And then they slip into their dress. I love this. So, yeah, Seriously, brides I are wanted, excited I want you to come it. to my house every day. <laughs> Yes. So, um, so what else have you done here? Because, you know, uh, one of the things we know is that brides get very nervous on yes. that day. Yes. So that's one of the reasons I'm sure you would recommend that they bring in a makeup artist. Yes. And one thing that I do is we have a consultation a month or so before the wedding. We kind of, you know, I have them bring looks that they like out of a magazine. And we kind of just, they come and we play in makeup. What do you like? What do you want? So that day, you know, I have the colors picked out and we're, we know what we're gonna do. And when I come, it's easy and they're, you know, it puts them more at ease because they know what to expect. Now, how long do you typically plan for the makeup? Um, it just depends on the bride and how okay. many bridesmaids they have. But I, I like to spend about 45 minutes an hour on the bride. Yes. On the bride. Because, you know, she, they cry, they get nervous. We, you know, and sometimes they do change their mind at the last minute. So, and that's fine too, but I give myself room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Smart. Now, what would you say to a bride who is getting ready for this season? What, what are the things, the trends? What should they be looking for? Well, because skincare is my passion, I really talk to the bride about skincare mm -hmm. and getting their skin in order before their wedding, getting facials, exfoliating, making sure they're on the right products. So we don't have to cover so much, you know, they can get into a good routine you know, skincare routine, you know, because that time, that season is kind of stressful and brides have breakouts and different things. So that's just one less concern they have to worry about. So I'm we want this, flawless these, skin. These are things so, I didn't think about. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, because no one wants to end up with a big red dot here. <laughs> I mean, right. You know right. that's gonna come, right? We know that's gonna come, you know, because it's stressful. It is a stressful time. Yeah. But like I said, my passion is skincare first mm -hmm. and then we enhance the beauty with makeup. Yeah. So it, do you follow a, a seasonal trend as far as color and and styles or is it really just based on the bride? It's definitely based on the bride, okay. you know, um, what they like, you right. know, and every bride, bride comes in and say, well, I don't wear that much makeup. I really don't. I want to look natural. And then they'll bring in a picture of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So yeah. it's, we kind of somewhere in between, you yeah. know, but the trends for brides is fresh face, you know, re, you know the blushing bride. You don't want to be too overdone. You don't want too much glitter because 
that reflects light, you know, so when the photographer is taking yeah. pictures, you know, yeah. all you see is the glitter. So I'm looking at some of the yeah. work that you've done here. These are stunning, Thank really you. gorgeous. Thank and you. I can see that it's, you know, it's, it's natural. However, it's, it just brings out all of the beautiful yes. features of the bride. Yes. How perfect. Yes. You know, um, yeah, yeah, and I and I and I do a lot of photo shoots. You know, mm -hmm. as you saw earlier, that was body paint on that first nice. model. Uh, so you know, I have fun with it too. Not just brides, um, proms. I do proms. Oh wow! Uh -huh. Oh, I wouldn't have thought about that. Yeah, I do proms. I guess that's because photo I'm shoots. Uh, girlfriends come in. They want to. Um, they want makeovers. Nice. You know, so. I work with local nice, photographers beautiful. and we just have fun sometimes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we have our gorgeous model here, Julie. Yes. So tell us what we've done today. What, what did you do for her? Well, I just, you know, of course, I didn't make her too overdone. And what brides don't understand, and I always explain to them, we all, we, on the wedding day, the makeup is a little heavier than they would normally have on a regular day because you want it to show up on camera um, because their pictures are very important to them. Yes. Um, so I just gave her a, a natural smoky eyes with smoky eye with natural tones and I just kind of gave her a nice little pink blush, you know, with a little um, just I highlighted a little bit, you know, because they want to glow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and some natural lips. Just, I just, and she was already gorgeous, of course. Of gorgeous course, skin. I, I know. Well, oh yeah, my God, absolutely mean, gorgeous. So I just enhanced, right. I just enhanced her natural beauty. It looks beautiful. Let's yeah. see the before and the after. Let's get that up here. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous that is. Mm -hmm. Good job, Tawana. Thank I you. love that. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. And it is very she natural. It's beautiful, yes. Yeah, I know. You had a great <laughs> subject to work yes, with, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Gorgeous. Well, I love that look. Hey there. Hey. Uh, I just have to say, I, you've gone from beautiful to absolutely stunning. <laughs> you really have. Thank great you. work, Tawana. Yeah. Great Thank work. you. Yeah. So, so how can people get hold of you for their proms, their weddings, their photography sessions? You can email me at tawana.green at yahoo.com um, or you can give me a call at 314-393-2818. Excellent. Well, that pretty much wraps it for another star-studded <laughs> show, as Vern would say, of St. Louis Presents. So we want to thank you guys and remind you to be here next time for more of St. Louis Presents. And before we go, we have a gift for you from JR, our Grammy Award winning producer, who is, um, he's got some free downloads and you can just go to the website that you'll see up on the screen in a second and you can get those free downloads of his music or you can go to our Facebook page and get those downloads as well. So um, our Facebook is at um, STLTV do hit us up on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you at, at STLTV channel. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.